describe what you're looking for, and Mail recognizes whether that's a person or a subject and prompts you with the choices you have across your entire Mail database, which you can find quickly. When you select one, it becomes what we call a search token. And that's an interactive search token where you can set some parameters on it. And you can have more than one and create Boolean searches if you want. But probably the best feature of the new Mail is something we call, oh, yes, you can love that, it's okay, <laughs> Boolean searches. But probably the best feature is something we call conversation view. In Mail today, as you've got a conversation going, you've got some messages you've responded to or replied and forwards, so you see the mail gets longer and longer and they're indented and color-coded, things stripped out. It gets more and more difficult to follow the flow of this and appreciate the messages that were sent. Well now, in Lion, there's a brand new conversation view that shows your messages just as they were sent. You see the messages, you see the people who send them, you see the attachments still in line, all there for you to view. Yet it's completely compatible with doing email with other people who don't have Lion and can't get the same beautiful view. So that's Mail and Lion. I'd like to bring Craig up for one last demo to show off Mail. Okay. Well, I absolutely love the new Mail in Lion. Let's, let's take a look. So it's got this great full height message list. It's perfect for laptops, just like this. I've got my message list on the side with snippets, makes it really easy to find the message I'm looking for. We have this new favorites bar across the top, so I can click through my mailboxes really easily, but if I want to get back to my full list, they're available right here as well. I really find the new search to be just awesome, because when I search, I'm often searching for a person, let's say like Phil, I start typing PH, see it prompts me for people in my uh, mail right now that match, so I go Phil Schiller, found messages from Phil, just like that. I can use, I can retarget the search to specific inboxes or search all. And of course, as Phil showed you, I can pick whether I'm searching for from, to, or the entire message. Well, suggestions don't just apply to searching for people. They also work for other things as well. Like let's say a subject, I'll search for trip. You see that it's actually prompting me, do you want to search for messages that contain trip, or where trip just appears in the subject line, or even suggest specific subject lines that match, so I can select this, and I've done a subject search on trip. What about dates? I'm gonna type March, start typing March. There you see it prompts me, March 2011. And like that, I've searched for all my messages in March. But what's really awesome is the way you can combine these really quickly to pinpoint just the search you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for a message about that Phil sent me. It's a subject with something about reservation. It was from Phil Schiller, and it was last month like that, drills down to exactly the message you're looking for. It's really nice. As awesome as that is, my favorite feature is conversations. It's this beautiful view of all the messages that were sent in the conversation just as they were sent, with all the images and so forth. And you'll notice that all of that extra forwarded reply text that's redundant in the conversation is stripped right out, it's gone. But if I want to show it and I want to see mail the way it kind of looks in lesser mail programs, I can click like this. It folds right out. Yeah, this is awesome. And if I want to reply to a particular message in a conversation, I can hover. We get a reply control and watch this animation. Bloop. So <laughs> message hops right out. So that's great. And finally, when you want to file a whole conversation away, you can just drag it all at once drag all the messages, put it in your folder, and you're done. That's mail in Lion. Thank you. So those are the top 10 features of mail, and there's so, excuse me, of, of, of Lion, and there is so much more for you to learn about and discover in Lion. Amazing features, just to bring up a few. I mean, don't Windows users who want to upgrade to a Mac deserve a migration feature just like we Mac users have? Well, now there is in line. When you upgrade from Windows, we can help you migrate and get to a better computing experience. Uh, there's FileVault, too. Yeah, so for all of you who want more security and encryption on your hard drive, you have that. FaceTime's built in. Even servers all new with Lion. Server isn't another operating system. It's just a bunch of applications you can purchase to run on top of Lion. So amazing depth of features for you. 
And for all the developers out here, we have over 3,000 new APIs for you to take advantage of the power of Lion. Amazing stuff. You can do all the things we showed here. You can have full screen applications, you can create versions, you can take advantage of autosave. All of that can easily be done with all these new APIs. So Lion is an incredible new, new release. So how are we gonna get it? Well in the past, one thing every version of Mac OS X has shared in common is it came on an optical disc. No more. Now, Lion will be available only in the Mac App Store. And that allows us to make it the easiest upgrade you have ever seen. When it's ready, you'll go into the Mac App Store and you'll see a page there where you can read about it, see screenshots, read reviews, and when you're ready, click buy. And it downloads right onto your Mac and starts the upgrade process right there. So it's on the Mac App Store. It'll be about four gigabytes in size, about the same size as a single HD movie that you might download. It installs right in place, no more rebooting from an optical disc. And because it's part of the Mac App Store and the Mac App Store rules, it follows the same rules. When you purchase it, you can use it on all of your personal authorized Macs. You don't have to buy multiple copies. <laughs> That's lying. I know what you're thinking. What should we charge for this? Well, what would you charge? Well, in the past, most major releases of, of Mac OS X have been $129. And I think there's a lot here for $129. But we love it so much that we want to make it available to even more people. So we're going to price it at just $29.99. Yeah. I was hoping you're going to like that. So when do you all get your hands on it here at the conference? We're going to have a developer preview, the latest developer preview available today for you to download and take advantage of everything you've seen up here. And for customers, when will it be available? In July. So very, very soon, coming in July. So that is Lion. That's the first for new products we wanted to tell you about today. The next product we're going to talk about is iOS 5. And to do that, I'd like to invite up Scott Forstall. Welcome. So I'm here to tell you about iOS 5. And before I get into the cool stuff, let me give you a quick update on iOS. As you know, iOS powers the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod Touch. And to date, we have sold, wait for it, <laughs> over 200 million iOS devices. And that makes iOS the number one mobile operating system with more than 44%, 44% of the market. Now, the latest addition to the iOS family is the iPad 2, which is an incredible product, even thinner and lighter than the original. It comes in black and white. It has cameras in the front and back. It is an amazing product. And our customers just couldn't wait to get their hands on it. Or else they actually did have to wait to get their hands on it. <laughs> in the first 14 months, we have already sold more than 25 million iPads. We created a whole new category of device with the iPad and have sold more than 25 million. Well, the iPad 2 joins the iPhone and the iPod Touch for an incredible lineup of iOS devices. And we've got some great stores to go along with these as well, like the iTunes Music Store. We've already sold more than 15 billion songs from the iTunes Music Store. This, of course, makes it the number one retailer of music in the world. Next is the iBookstore. You know, we launched the iBookstore just a little more than a year ago. Already, all six major publishers have signed up and are providing books to the bookstore. Our customers love it. Our customers have downloaded more than 130 million books. Great. 
And of course, there's the App Store. Now, the size and momentum of the App Store is really hard to fathom. There are currently more than 425,000 apps on the App Store. And more than 90,000 of these were made specifically for the iPad. They take full advantage of the large touchscreen display, and they make the iPad a better product. So we'd like to thank our developers for these great apps. Now, our customers love it. Our customers have downloaded more than 14 billion apps from the App Store, and that's in less than three years. It's amazing. Now, our developers are being well rewarded for this. Uh, Apple, so far, has paid out more than $2.5 billion to developers building apps for the App Store. Thank you. Now, these apps, as you know, cover every genre imaginable. There's great travel apps like this walking tour from Lonely Planet. There are incredibly addictive games. I'd say even mind-controllingly addictive games like <laughs> Tiny Wings. Great entertainment titles like HBO Go, which lets you take HBO wherever you are, and you can watch it right on your iPad. There are deep apps like Mobile Mim, which allow physicians to look at CT scans and PET scans right on their iPad. And this has been FDA approved. This next one from Jepson has been FAA approved. And it allows pilots to look at the charts and the uh, maps for airports around the world right on their iPad. And there's great business apps out there, like WebEx, which allows you to have a multi-party video conference and really hold a virtual meeting. So, some great apps out there. For our stores, we have more than 225 million accounts, all with credit cards and one-click purchasing to make it really easy for our customers to find what they want, purchase it, and download it directly to their device. And these stores go with an incredible lineup of iOS devices. Well, let's talk about the future of iOS, and that is iOS 5. <laughs> iOS 5 is a major release. This is incredible for our developers and for our customers. For our developers, there are more than 1,500 new APIs and some great enhancements to our tools. For our, for our users, there are more than 200 new features. And let me go ahead and walk you through 10 now. Number one, notifications. <laughs> I'm sure you're all familiar with notifications. They look something like this, and it looks best when giants are on top. So you can get scoring alerts, you can have alerts that pop up, they can have audio, they can also badge the home screen icons. Well, these have been massively popular. In fact, we have already pushed more than 100 billion push notifications. It's scaled beautifully. We've heard from our customers that they're receiving so many, they'd like a better UI to get them. And we agree. And so we've built something that solves some of the problems in the current one. Currently, when you get a notification, it interrupts you. So if you're playing a game, you get a modal alert, you have to deal with that modal alert before you can go on. Also, in the lock screen, you get this nice list of things that have happened while your phone's been locked. But when you unlock it, that list isn't persistent. There's no way to get back to that list and go through those notifications. Well, we have designed a solution that solves those issues and goes far beyond it. And we call it Notification Center. Notification Center is a single place which combines together all of your notifications. You can get to it at any time from anywhere on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch just by swiping your finger down from the top to reveal the Notification Center. So we think it is beautiful. 
It has your missed calls and voicemails, text messages, mail messages, scoring alerts, Facebook updates, any push notifications 